Hey guys, it's Angela coming to you again with another video. And this video is about what I'm currently working on and I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> I've stood here for about five minutes like, what the hell am I going to say? Um, because I did a lot of writing this morning on different subjects and I was like, yeah, I'll talk about that. And then I was like, no, it's just not resonating, damn it. <laughs> it's not resonating. Um, and I can be a really heavy, serious person um, when I'm writing and in my head and sometimes when it gets delivered. And then when it's time for me to talk about it, I'm just like, which way did they go, George? <laughs> you know? Um, but um, this video is about the work that I'm currently doing. I absolutely love it. It's called Bioenergy Healing. It is a healing modality that is energetic that... Um, begins, of course, in an energetic um, way, and then it trickles down into the body. It's super effective. I've done it with my teacher and mentor most of last year. Um, he, his name is Anton Baraski, and his site is energeticrejuvenation.com. Amazing. Um, I loved it, and as soon as I worked with him, I knew that this was the area that I was going to focus on and go into. So a little background about bioenergy healing. And I'm going to read. Oh, where is it? Because he put it in the, the, the most understandable terms ever. And basically, bio, the purpose of bioenergy is to effectively improve a client's health in the shortest possible time with lasting measurable effects using energetic modalities on and off the body. So it, it helps to improve uh, the immune system of whoever it is is on the table or on their bed or wherever they are. And so we're utilizing energetically the immune system of a person to boost their health in the shortest possible time. Um, <clears throat> it's a method this method is a synthesis of more than a dozen bioenergetic healing methods, which include, but are not limited to, Reiki, shamanism, medical Qigong, and many more from China, Tibet, Japan, Russia, Eastern Europe, United States, the Philippines, and Africa. So basically, this is, if I could explain it in the simplest terms, it's probably Reiki on steroids. <laughs> on steroids. Um, it's, like I said, it's super effective. Um, I have always been a really sensitive person. Um, and so whenever I have a session, I can really, really feel it. It takes me um, probably a day or so um, to really just fully absorb. But right when it's happening, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> because it's settling in and it's such a, a, a beautiful thing and during a time when energy is actually what I needed the most um, to assist in my healing process it was paramount and instrumental um, so that is what I'm currently working on I love talking about and, and, and working with and um, researching. I, I love to dive into all things about nutrition and food and weight loss and um, just everything that encompass, encompasses, encompasses uh, <laughs> a new and better lifestyle, right? A new and improved lifestyle. But I felt like there was more. I felt like sometimes, especially if you're someone like myself with a long-term chronic illness, Sometimes it feels like you hit a wall. You're just like, I've done everything that I can do. Um, I've changed my diet. I went this way. I went that way. Seasonally, things shift. Sh things can shift for you. You know what your diet was like in the summer. Your diet is not gonna be like in the winter because you need more hearty foods. So in the winter, if someone tries to hand you a salad, and it's like, what are you trying to do? You're trying to starve me today. <laughs> Because you need more, you need heavier things. Otherwise, you know, the cold is really going to start to affect you. So what you eat in the summer is going to be different than what you eat in the winter. And that is even going to change from year to year, 
because of the things that your body needs. So a lot of times you will find that people were vegans or vegetarians for five, six, seven years, and then it just no longer worked for them um, because, you know, their body hit this point. Sometimes it's called a plateau. Their body hit this point where it was like, all right, we've come to this point where enough is enough. It, it worked and it was working. And now we just need a little something different to take us to the next level. You know, take us to the next level on our journey. Take us to the next level with um, improving our health. And I really think that's the goal. It's not so much to judge or look at someone else and say, well, you were here and now you're here. Or I've been, I, I'm like a stalker <laughs> on social media. I watch. I may not necessarily engage all the time, but I do watch. And I notice that people are comfortable. It's almost like high school. People are comfortable being in groups. And then when they're in those groups, they look at other people and they say, you're not doing this right, or you're not doing this right, or how dare you, you know? So I've noticed that, you know? You have uh, pescatarians and vegetarians and vegans and keto and you and people that do like, you know, Beachbody and South Beach and all of these different diets, um, paleo, you know? And I think for different times at different stages, with your body, you're going to go through different things and that's going to dictate the type of food that you're going to be eating for that time. It may not necessarily be forever. I feel like people want, people want to have the same diet and have something that is structured for the rest of their lives. And it's just not going to be that way. Even if you have eaten a certain way um, for five, six, seven, 10, 20 years, at a certain point, you're going to find that you have a lack because you're growing older and your body's changing. So you're going to find, or if you're someone like me, where it started very young, where you have a chronic illness because things switched up with my body at a very early age. So you're going to find that you will need to shift things. You'll need to shift things because maybe 20 years in, there was a lack. And your body's like, there's a lack and we need to fill that lack, you know? So maybe before you were anti-meat or maybe before you were anti-eggs or maybe before you were anti-supplements or anti-foods um, that, you know, were not whole foods, you know, foods like packaged foods or, or, or foods that, you know, may not necessarily basically processed foods that are processed, right? But your body develops this lack. It could be based on environment. It could be based on medication. It could be based on many different things. But you can't starve yourself. <laughs> you can't starve yourself, you know? So there's always going to be this level where you're lacking somewhere and you're trying to make it up, whether in diet, whether in supplement, whether in foods. It could even be processed foods. Um, you're trying to make it up from somewhere, right? And my job is not to judge. I don't think anybody's job is to judge because everybody's circumstances are different. Everyone has different financial circumstances. Everyone has different um, cultural and familial circumstances. It's, it's going to be different, you know? So the thing that I love about bioenergy is that for me, it really helped to fill the gaps energetically and then physically um, where I had been lacking so that I would have enough energy to pull myself out of the downward spiral that my body was headed in. So basically, all of 2018 was going, okay, um, was going downhill very, very fast. I hadn't been in that situation since... I was a child and they were telling me, telling my parents to prepare for my funeral in front of me. I hadn't been there in a very long time. And to be there again was very depressing, very frustrating, very sad. I came to a point where I was like, you know, emotional support was lacking dramatically from um, certain friends and family. And I just felt like 
maybe I'm not meant to be in this earth anymore, you know? So I felt, I, I felt a degree of love and purpose and, and a new entryway, a new pathway into providing and offering something more that can help those that find it very difficult and challenging and they've done everything that they possibly can think of to help themselves um, throughout their process, whether it's hospitalizations, whether it's you know long-term chronic illness and they've gone through various diets and they can't seem to bring themselves out of it. Um, nothing at this point is a cure-all. That depends on the individual, but you can get enough to pull yourself out to move forward. Um, and that was significant for me. Otherwise, I would not have made it out of the hospital. Um, I was in rehab for about a month and I was in a wheelchair. I had to relearn to walk again. It was really rough. <laughs> it was really, really rough. And, um, and so having the interaction with my teacher and mentor and then being able to take the uh, year-long certification course and then being able to practice, which is where I am now, um, I love the, I love the responses. <laughs> I love the responses that uh, people have in regards to the work that I'm doing with spirit. I just love it because it's a beautiful synthesis of the spiritual world, energetics, and soon it will be a nice infusion of nutrition as well. Um, so I encourage you to look it up. Look up bioenergy healing. Um, look up energetic energeticrejuvenation.com. And my instructor's name is Anton Baraski. Um, and I also wanted to give a beautiful little shout out <laughs> to uh, my naturopathic physician, Dr. Ginger Nash, and to my medical medium, because <laughs> as you guys see, I've been busy. I don't play games when it comes to my life, because she came to this earth for a reason. So my medical medium, her name is Kier Noel, and her website is healingabody.com, I believe. I will link it. And um, yeah, so between this beautiful synthesis of... Um, the hospital medical team and my naturopath and Kier Noel and Anton Baraski. Um, I expanded upon my health team and um, I didn't replace, but I expanded upon it and I included bioenergy um, within my life and within my practice. And I'm telling you guys, <laughs> I'm telling you guys. You have to look this up. Even if you don't believe so much um, in what some people describe as woo-woo, other people describe as, you know, what is this spiritism, spiritualness, like, get out of your head, get out of your fears, give it a shot. I've seen some incredible, incredible, incredible things that made me feel like I was in the twilight zone. Like, is this really happening in front of my eyes right now? Never mind the fact. <laughs> that I've witnessed personally my own things and I'm like, this is not really happening. I'm not really seeing these things. And I was, it's like every single time it happens, you're always odd, jaw drop. And so that was the case this time where I was witnessing things and my jaw was dropping like, is this really happening? Are you really doing this? And is this really possible? Um, there are many people that believe that healers have not existed since biblical days and um so i think those people are just going to remain where they are in stagnation believing that healers haven't existed since biblical days because they are out there and they can change your life and um it's a it's a beautiful thing to actually be one it's a beautiful thing to provide services for other people as well so that's what i want to share with you guys today um yeah, it's called Bioenergy Healing. Look it up. I will link all the people below that have really been instrumental 
um, to my journey that I've mentioned in this video. And if I forgot anybody, please don't hate me. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this as focused as possible. Um, yeah, so look it up and I'll see you guys in the next video.